Just Monica Woods now, as these conditions are evolving, Monica. Right, and so we take a look at our Doppler radar because that's really a good indication of where we're seeing some of the hot spots develop, and especially when radar can pick that up, as well as where the ash is kind of that particulate matter able to be detected by radar. So we've obviously got this big area right on the eastern flank, but also over towards the Kirkwood side where we've been having Kurt Rivera reporting live, saying there are a lot of emergency personnel heading over into the Kirkwood area. Here are some of the hot spots that are growing right along Highway 88 towards the Kirkwood area and a more populated area, unfortunately, South Lake Tahoe. Now, this is why I'm suspecting that they're causing those mandatory evacuations right now over towards Douglas County, because look at the fire growth for today, kind of pushing just to the south of South Lake Tahoe more off to the east here, supported by the winds that we've been seeing throughout the day. Some of the uh, infrared images as well. Look at the flares that we're seeing from the intense heat as that camera points into the fire as it approaches South Lake Tahoe and over towards the Nevada state line. Here are the look at the winds and the direction right now out of the southwest at about 11 miles per hour. But one thing to consider is around those fire lines with the fire creating its own weather environment. We could see gusts up to about 20 right now sustained near South Lake Tahoe, but almost 10 times times as high around those fire lines. It is a difficult firefight with humidity only at about 8 to 19 percent. Also around the Dixie fire we will be following that. But again, we're really concerned right now. This is the late afternoon. Highest temps, strongest upslope winds, lowest humidities. The firefight is on right now. Indeed, and as we just mentioned, we've learned of those new evacuations in Douglas County. And what we've done here is a, at ABC 10, because we stand for you, we've put the map of where the fire is burning near the evacuation zone so that you can see it in real time, okay? And so the areas in bright red, that shows you where the fire is burning. And then the dark red shows you where the mandatory evacuations are in place. And then I cannot stress this enough. Although that the yellow evacuation warnings are just warnings at this time, it does mean that you need to have your bags packed and you should be prepared to go at a moment's notice, Madison. Yeah, and again, we just got that information, so that map will update once uh, we do get those in, uh, those evacuations on there from the Nevada side. With so many people wanting to help right now, we have partnered with the American Red Cross. You can head on over to abc10.com links if you are able to donate.